Yes, my hair looks a lot different than the last time I checked in, and that's what this video is all about. Hi guys, I'm Jen coming at you from Tampa, Florida, and since my last video, I've made some really drastic changes to my hair color, and I wanted to talk a lot about the process and everything that goes into color treating your hair because I'm fairly new to this game, and I was looking for some videos on the topic, and I really couldn't find any specifically about Asians dyeing their hair red, or this color is also referred to as ginger blonde. It's pretty popular among the Asian community, particularly in South Korea, and my hair color was inspired by one of my favorite Korean actresses, Yu Na, and I kind of wanted to share my hair care journey. I started off from straight up black, then I got some balayage, and now we're at this level. If you're thinking about doing something different to your hair, I hope this video is helpful to you. And also a disclaimer, I'm obviously not a hair care professional. Consult a professional before you do anything, but I'm just sharing what I've gone through over the past like six months or so. I will say I love my current hair. I never thought I was gonna be one of those people that constantly colored their hair. And one of the things that really deterred me from making any big changes was the maintenance. If you just go straight up like dye job, your roots will grow. And as we've kind of seen with uh, the quarantine, you know, a lot of people were not able to get into the salon as much. So then they had a major root situation. Uh, so one of the things that was most appealing about this particular uh, style of hair color was the low maintenance. So I'm gonna tell you what I asked the stylist for, you know, how much it costs, you know, what's all involved. And obviously my hair care maintenance and has changed quite a bit just due to the uh, structure of my hair being altered by the coloring. Okay, so let's start off with uh, my own hair care thing. I'm obviously Asian. I have pretty healthy, shiny hair. Before this, I really didn't use any styling products. I normally wash my hair about twice a week. I know, you know, before you're like, wow, that's really gross. Uh, my hair just doesn't really need to be washed that often. And a lot of Asians, I guess, don't really have this whole gene for body odor. So I can, you know, I'll be real. I can get away with taking a shower two to three times a week. You know, nobody cares. I'm obviously at home. I don't do a lot of like heavy activities. So my body situation is, you know, pretty, pretty stable. The reason I, I guess I wanted to, to change things up, you know, obviously a lot of us have been kind of bored under lockdown. And originally I kind of got this, the first step of this all done, before, like right before the lockdown, I had gone in for some balayage and I'll show you some pictures along the way. So obviously I started off uh, straight black and then I got sort of caramel colored balayage. It was sort of sprinkled throughout my hair, mostly focused on the front, like the front angle pieces. I got a haircut in color and it took about four hours. I go to a salon here in the Tampa Bay area called Sheer Impressions and I'll link their information below because if you're in the Tampa area, they're really good with hair color and their prices are also really reasonable for the type of services they offer. I've gone to everybody. I've had a couple different people as stylists. They're all pretty good. You know, I have zero complaints about share impressions, only good experiences. And also, uh, you know, they, they haven't been very busy. I mean, that's probably a bad thing for them. But when I've gone the last few times, you know, again, it, it's pretty easily easy to social distance and you do have to wear masks for your entire appointment. So the first time I went in, I asked for some balayage. I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do. And I ended up getting, you know, a little bit of balayage. It was fairly subtle. I mean, you could kind of see it in my other videos that I did recently, but it wasn't like huge in your face. That took about four hours. And I think with the haircut and that, I think it was about, I wanna say it was about $200 plus tip. So really for that kind of thing, that's in my opinion, pretty reasonable, especially for our area. If you go to South Tampa, man, you're gonna shell out uh, some major bucks. So I kind of lived with that for a while. And one of the reasons I didn't go all out was because I wasn't sure how my hair, hair would handle bleach. I think I got some highlights like 15 years ago, 
but you know my hair turned kind of like a weird color and I also think that hair care technology has probably come a long way since then so I was willing to give it, give it another shot and you know I liked it and my hair seemed to handle the bleach fairly well. So one thing about having really dark hair like mine is that you're not going to get to platinum blonde in one appointment. It's probably going to take multiple appointments for you to get. If you want to lighten up your whole head, it's going to take more than one visit to the salon. This is the result of two trips to the salon. The first was just getting the balayage. And then when I went back the second time, I wanted something a little bolder, something that would kind of show up on camera more and something that people would actually notice. Because when I did the balayage, a lot of people couldn't even tell I had it done. Uh, but one of the good things about balayage is that it's sort of like they're more intentionally placed highlights. So they're a little more random and not so like computerized looking, I guess. So it looks more like, you know, it could be natural, even though obviously it's not. And as it grows out, because it's not your whole head, you know, the root situation isn't as drastic. Like you can see I've got a little bit of roots but it doesn't look crazy and that's what I like about it is that this style, even though I have a lot of hair color, it's fairly low maintenance. I think at this point I could get away with going to the salon maybe twice a year uh, and it would probably be okay. My hair is pretty long. It's about waist length and obviously I'm curling it so it's you know gonna pop up a little bit shorter than it really is. Uh, so I went back and I brought a photo. So if you are getting hair color and you're not very experienced, bring photos of what you want the hair color and style to be. So I brought a picture of you and Oz hair and I think the color matches pretty well. The stylist, um, she, she, her name was Christina and she did have to mix together a few different colors to get the look we wanted. And you know, obviously uh, we had to bleach my hair again. So she did a combination of standard highlights and balayage. So you can kind of see like throughout there's no lines in the where the hair color starts and ends. It's pretty well distributed so that it doesn't look super crazy as it grows out. And I'm really happy with what she did. So she ended up doing highlights more in the upper section of my hair at the crown. And then towards the bottom, she did hand painted balayage and much bigger sections. And what I told her I wanted was I wanted all most of my hair to be colored and then blend it in more at the roots up top. So this is, I guess, technically balayage slash highlights. But the good thing is as this grows out, I don't have to worry about getting it maintained every six weeks or anything like that. My hair grows really fast and I will say I do experience a lot of hair shedding. So hair is coming out everywhere. Before I had it colored, after. So I experience a lot of hair loss. My hair is also really thick and I have a lot of hair. I've, I've been told by multiple hairstylists that I have like a crazy amount of individual hairs. The second time I went in, it took about five hours and there was so much foil in my head, guys. It was like I was gonna pick up cable at some point. Like it was, you know, it was, it was pretty intense and I do have some photos I'll share of when I was sitting under the dryer. So they let it sit on my, you know, let the bleach sit for a while and then they put toner on it, which is, I guess, what gives it the actual color. So all in all, this took about five hours the second time. And I think um, before tip, it was 220 plus tip. For what I had done, I feel like, I feel like it was reasonable in my opinion. Obviously, if you're like broke AF, this may not be for you because this does cost some money. But when I think about it, this is a pretty permanent change. And I, you know, I can get away with getting it redone every six months or something. And, you know, so over the long period of time, the cost itself is, in my mind, it like the low maintenance kind of justified the cost and the fact that I really do like um, the hair color. Now this did change my hair color, my hair texture slightly. Um, one good thing is my hair in its natural virgin state could not hold curls. Like if I curled it, it would just fall out pretty immediately, but I've noticed with the new hair structure, it seems to be holding styles better. It is a little, it is a little bit more dull. So I'm going to share with you some of the products I've been using. Obviously I've had to really up my hair care game because before I would basically do nothing. In fact, it was a miracle if I even brushed my hair. When I style my hair, I will first uh, get out of the shower, 
towel dry it. I'll put some volumizing mousse up top, nothing special, just, you know, your average mousse. Um, and then, oh, and also I've been using this line called Pureology. I do have the shampoo, the conditioner, and then I also have like their, they have like some spray that's, you know, for shine and heat protectancy. I'm not sure I love that so far. I haven't no. it seems to kind of make my hair a little stiff. Maybe I'm using it wrong, I don't know. And as far as the shampoo conditioner, this is not a budget friendly uh, product. So I'm not sure if I'm loving it. This is vegan though, and it is color safe. So if you are treating your hair, you wanna go for color safe products. And it seems like uh, sulfate free products are all the rage now. Again, I'm not a professional hair expert, so, but that seems to be what's going around. And when I got out of the shower, so I put the mousse in, and then I've also been using a, a serum. I don't have the serum right now, but I'll link to what I use. I got off of Amazon. So I'll usually like put some in my hands, you know, rub it between my palms and then sort of like run it through my hair. And then I've been using this stuff called It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Silk Leave-In. This is also another product. I'm not really sure if I like it or not. This is pretty expensive, but I got it 50% off during like a Black Friday sale. So that's why I decided to purchase it. So this has a spray bottle and I spray it directly onto my hairbrush. And then I've been running that through my hair because I found when I was just trying to spray it directly into my head, I felt like I was getting nowhere. So I feel like I can kind of control where the product goes more by just spraying it directly onto the brush. But the game changer for me, when my hair is starting to get like kind of dull in, and I feel like the color is not as vibrant, I've been using this product by Hairgenics called Pronexa Hair Bond Repairing Complex. And this stuff, man, is amazing. The bottle is a little pricey, but I've used it like four times and you know, it really, the level is still pretty full. So what I do is I will wash my hair and then I will get out of the shower, I'll towel, towel dry it, I'll brush my hair, and then you are supposed to apply this to damp hair, like starting at the root, and then I comb it down to the ends. And then I'll put it up in a clip and let it sit for like an hour, two hours. You can let it sit for longer, but I found that the longer I let this product just sit in my hair, kind of as a leave-in conditioner, the better. And then after a while, like an hour or two, I'll get back in the shower and I'll rinse my hair I won't let my hair under the water for too long, but I'll use kind of colder water and I'll sort of somewhat rinse it out, but I also kind of don't want it completely out. And that has really brought a lot of healthiness back to my hair. I think my hair handled the bleach fairly well overall compared to other people, uh, especially for people that may have already had like thin or damaged hair. But this Pronexa stuff, man, if you have color treated hair, this stuff has been a game changer and it really kind of brings back that vibrancy. You know, I don't wanna say it's like a toner replacement, but I haven't really had to go back to get uh, additional toner put in. And I use this about once every two weeks. So in between, I'll use like my, you know, shampoo conditioner and I will leave the conditioner in though for much longer than I used to. And that seems to help just with keeping your hair soft and kind of healthier. But this Pronexa stuff, uh, definitely pick this up if you have color treated hair and you're, you're worried about damage because this has made a huge difference for me and it really, I find it really kind of helps keep the color fresh, I guess. Then I'll let my, I never usually blow dry my hair, I'll air dry it. And then once it's air dry, I use some Tresemme heat protectant spray and then I'll spray sections of my hair and then I usually curl it. I have a, a Hot Tools, um, not the gold curling iron, I have a black one, and I'll link all my hair stuff below if you're interested in seeing what I use. But after that, my hairstyle kind of stays for a few days until I wash it. So I've been pretty happy with it so far. And I gotta say, I never thought I was gonna be one of those people who went ginger or redhead, but here I am and I am now an Asian redhead. So, and I'm loving it and it's pretty low maintenance. So if you are looking for a pretty drastic hair color change and you don't want something that you constantly need to get touch-ups, I would highly recommend asking for a similar hairstyle with balayage on the bottom. And when she was putting it in, she did like, basically all of my hair on the bottom is colored. And then as it works up towards the root, it's, you know, she started to kind of 
distribute those a little more evenly just so it doesn't look super crazy. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my hair care story and my hair color uh, change. If you have color treated hair and you wanna share some secrets with me or products you use, I'm not sold on most of these products except for this one. This one is definitely, uh, the Pranexa is definitely a must get. Everything else I kind of feel sort of like, you know, it's okay, but I wouldn't say they're absolute holy grails. So if you have a holy grail for color treated hair, drop it down below in the comments. So if you're out there considering some sort of hair color change and you had questions, I hope this helped somewhat. I know hair color kind of has the stereotype of being really expensive. And initially the costs are definitely up there, but the maintenance for this style is going to be pretty low, I think. So I'll check back in once I get more touch-ups and I'll kind of share the cost, but so far uh, the cost for this was uh, for this whole thing was under $500. And again, this is permanent. So it's something that, you know, I have to look at every day. So I felt like it was worth it to me. You might not if you're on a budget, but there's certainly other things you can, you can do. Um, if you just want to get a few highlights, you know, that's obviously going to be a little bit more budget friendly, but you know, sometimes you just need to change and that is exactly what I needed. So I hope this video was helpful to you, especially to all the Asian sisters out there because I was looking up, trying to find information on this very topic and I really couldn't find anything that was very helpful. So this is for you. I'm Jen coming at you from Tampa, Florida and I'll see you guys again in the next video.